peeps, Zapian here, and uh, I'm going to show you how to nearly double or triple or quadruple or just increase your PC's performance. Um, I know a lot of people are struggling with that because I have like three gajillion Skype contacts and uh, three gajillion and one Skype contacts are having PC problems uh, with uh, performance. So I'm going to show you guys how to sort of speed up your computer um, by, you know, just just a couple simple programs, even things that are just incorporated into Windows that you would never have guessed were there. So um, I guess we'll start with step one. I believe this is going to be a two-part video, so the things that you see here will mostly be the programs that you need. Um, other than that, it'll just be like right-clicking your desktop, going to computer, whatever you need. So um, first off, I want to start. First thing I want to do is start off by saying that um, my Windows button in uh, Windows 8.1 is not the Windows button you're used to. This is what you're going to be used to when you click it. So if you want a Windows button like this, like it was in Windows Vista XP, I don't know, uh, one of those, um, you're going to need to go to one of my previous videos. And why the fuck are you still here? Yeah, yeah get out of here. Um, you're going to have to go to one of my previous videos and um, check it out. It's just going to be called uh, How to Get a Start Menu Button on Windows 8. I'll even put a link in the description, whatever. Um, but the first thing we're going to do is start with a program called PC Decrapifier. I mean, so appropriate for this uh, this video, right? Just decrapify your PC. I guess that's step one, because what this will do is remove any... It's like going to, let's see, control panel. Um, I don't like the large icons thing. I like categories. Uninstall program. It's like doing this and going through this entire list clicking one uninstall right uh, this one is essentially the same except it'll it'll sort of be a faster process and, and I always do no know because this is not a new computer uh, just click next 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 if you want to read it I already read through this um, but this is all manual removal so say I don't want one zip or seven zip I write I, I click it let's see if there's one I can find here that I don't want uh, <laughs> I, I cleaned out my PC a bit ago so I know that there's not too much on here that's crap that I won't use uh, probably this let's just go for it alright so it'll say that the removal process will begin and you know it's uninstalling Star Wars Battlefront 2 right that's just the uninstaller it went to and it'll look all everywhere for an uninstaller I don't really submit feedback because I have nothing to say so um, that's one thing. This will truly speed up your computer. And if you're like me, I literally had icons from, if you can see the box, icons from here all the way out to here, right? And then I had this one row left, and I got it down like three more icons, and I'm like, I really need to clean this up. And this was on my old laptop. Believe me, I'm not doing it to this new one. Um, but that's that's just what happened, um, and I'm, I'm done with that. So Decrapifier will just do everything for you um, and for those of you who don't know just deleting a program from your desktop does not actually delete it <sighs> except for this this is like a .exe file all on its own so it'll delete that but um, but the second thing would be to uh, to actually this is a, this is sort of something really cool and it's actually pretty hard to explain but I'll walk you guys through how to get it and you can do a little bit more research on it despite what I say about it but you know what whatever I say will happen so or whatever I say will forget it hush um it's not it's not that okay so basically you go to any file explorer documents I have it down here you go to this PC or uh, it'll say computer for you guys and uh, those of you in Windows 8 it'll say computer here if you get the this or you just go to documents if for those of you Windows 7, Windows Vista, it'll say computer here. Anyways, you go to computer, then you right click, and I'm going to rename this to uh, Caps Lock. Okay, so you go here, you go to properties, right? And yes, you can see I have some nice, nice RAM, I, this, this, yeah. Anyways, you go to advanced system settings, and it'll ask you for permission, I do believe, to change anything. But you go to settings here, so you see, uh, you see here? So advanced system setting boop sorry about that um so yeah advanced system settings right 
and it comes up with system properties and then you go to the performance section in the so advanced tab uh, some of you might pop up in computer name I don't know um, I think you all pop up in advanced performance um, and then you go to the settings right and this will be um, you know three tabs at the top what you want to do is you're going to go to advanced and you see here it says virtual memory basically this will like it says here it'll take a piece of your hard drive how how much you set this to and it'll use it right here it uses it as if it were RAM so um, I'm not really sure I haven't tested this I haven't done too much resource research on this I just know that it will give you a, an extra boost when you're doing some tasking um, you know using some tasking programs and such so uh, you, you would click change and you set it to custom size it would you would uncheck automatic and you set it to custom size and um, what you normally want to do so like the the math for it is uh, basically if you go back to your system or when you right clicked on computer and pressed uh, uh, properties right here installed memory um, research nowadays shows that hard drives are so big that you can afford to use double the size of your hard drive if you have massive computers with lots of RAM this is going to be fairly useless to you but say computers with two three four gigabytes of RAM it really it really could help by you know setting it to six gigabytes if you have three etc um, you see here this is the next thing I'm talking about um, but so you set it to uh, you set both of them initial size and maximum to double of what your normal RAM would be you click set it's going to prompt you to restart your computer and it's going to tell you you're going to have to to make this change to make it work but um, you know th that's just something you can do on on your own time you know something like that so then you you know you'd press OK and OK and everything and I'm gonna exit out but um, basically that's that so we've gone over PC decrap fire <laughs> I still love that we've gone over uh, page file settings um, and now I'm going to teach you about CC cleaner I think this will be the last portion of this video and then I'll move on to part two um, basically this uh, it's called a uh, CC cleaner by Piriform and you would get it at this website oh I am already open on a few tabs so CC cleaner right or C cleaner actually and you would go to the first one piriform.com slash C cleaner and um, you would you would you know download here and this is a very very trusted very widely used program and actually I would save this uh, page open or just their Piriform's homepage because we would actually be using defragger later so um, you download that you would set it up and everything and um, you know when you're done that it's a fairly easy setup and I would always use the custom um, custom setup so that you know exactly what you're doing in case it wants to install a toolbar or something like that so um, as of right now today we're uh, in this video we're dealing with these two tabs cleaner and registry basically what the cleaner does is it'll clean up any any temporary files any any useless files really it'll uh, it'll just get rid of all of those um, so you you see here this is you know Windows and Internet Explorer comes with Windows so that's why it's here in this tab and applications I have a couple applications here but Google Chrome is what I use mostly so I would unch I'm unchecking history cache and cookies um, just because I like to keep those there um, uh, you know just just personal preference if you guys would like to do that and it it'll show Mozilla Firefox if you have that installed actually so um, you'd go to the you would uncheck anything you don't want or check anything you do want and uh, and then you would click analyze uh, you don't you don't have to click analyze if you click run cleaner it'll analyze anyways but um, basically you see my recycle bin right now has seven and a half gigs of stuff in it so um, so what I do is analyze, I, I analyze it and everything, it's going to run the cleaner. Um, it's going to permanently delete them, so it'll, it's not like putting it in the recycle bin, you can restore it, it's like the next step after the recycle bin, so uh, that's what's going to happen. So it's just going to, it's just going to clean, and it's actually already done, um, but as you can see, it, it removed everything, and so now these don't exist on my computer. Um, but that's that, and then the next tab would be registry, 
and um, say you installed something like a, a game and then you uh, wanted to say there's something you um, or something traces that the game left behind um, that could actually be a problem it could build up it could interfere with other things so what you would want to do with that is you this will search for it and get rid of it so um, you know that game I uninstalled earlier was it Star Wars Battlefront 2 second edition whatever it was um, maybe it left a couple things behind um, maybe let's see uh, hmm did it I don't I don't see anything here but it could have maybe it could be one of these things but um, yeah missing shared DLL right it could be one of those so um, you once it's done scanning and it could usually take longer because this list is normally so much longer I just did this like an hour ago that's why it's so short but um you know if you want to back it up in case you want to restore it or something I just see I did this uh, yeah an hour and a half ago so save and um, unless you want to go one by one which was it was 1400 last time uh, so luckily it's only 60 you know it fix all the issues close and that's all done so um, if you want to get more in depth with these two it's a bit um, it's a bit hard, like the uh, the decrapifier. This has it part of it, but uh, I would prefer to use decrapifier because it you can make a checklist and it'll go one by one without having to uh, you know click on install. You go through it and then you find the next one. You just make a checklist and then it'll do it all at once, sort of thing. Um, so that's cleaner and registry, and uh, you can look through both of these and uh, check it out. But it's a great great program useful useful program and it's called it's donationware and it's called that because uh, you can use it for free but it's uh, you know the the author gets funding through donations and if you're if you like this program if you're kind enough you can certainly donate if I if I ever stumble into some money I'll definitely donate to to all the authors of all the programs that I love so uh, that's C cleaner and um, I think we're I think we're good for this this video so we've gone over these two we've gone over page file settings which is basically an extra boost of RAM but uh, hopefully by now your computer is running a little bit faster and you might not notice it instantly but it it will certainly um, speed up it, it will certainly um, you know as this Im name implies decrapify your computer it will remove all the junk and remove all the excess you know files it'll allow your hard drive to speed up, it'll allow your your uh, your programs to speed up and um, that's that so um, and as I said at the beginning there's there's a video about how to get this there's also a video that I made recently about how to boost a specific programs um, d just performance uh, so by by setting its priority and stuff so if you guys want to check those out go to my channel favorite like comment subscribe and everything and I'll I'll see you guys later. If you have any questions, comments, uh, put them in the description and I will certainly get to you. So, um, that being said, Zapian out.